Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. We're back with step two. So in the first step is basically the wash. I showed you how to either wash with the Gary Dean wash method, rinseless wash, or the Gary Dean wash method, traditional wash with universal shampoo. Shampoo. So you can, you can do either way. You could traditional wash or you can do the rinseless wash, doesn't matter. Whatever your choice is, there's a product there to take care of either one. So now that you've got the car washed, I've, got, I've already gone and washed the car, cleaned the wheels, all of that. So everything's washed and clean, but still wet. Now, this step, you're going to mix a bottle of Universal Clean and Prep, one part product to seven parts water. So basically that's one ounce to seven ounces of water for an eight ounce or two ounces to, and if you look at my spray bottles I sell on DetailJuice.com, this line right here on this bottle is right at two ounces. So if you put two ounces in one of my 16 ounce bottles of the Universal Clean and Prep, fill it up with water, you've got your one to seven ratio. So with that said, what I like to do on heavily contaminated vehicles or white or silver cars where you can visibly see rust spots, what you wanna do is try to get those out prior to polishing because it's a metal shard in the paint. So imagine polishing over that, picking it up out of the paint and then it's stuck in your pad, scratching a piss out of your paint. Nobody wants any of that drama. So you wanna remove those ferrous metal particles prior to doing any polishing. And to do that, you can do one of two things. Either you can go into right now. So with the wa with the rinseless wash, when you wash the panel, you're leaving it basically wet with lube. So you could go ahead and just wash at that point. I went ahead and did a traditional wash on this car just because most of it was wet anyway. So I went ahead and just used universal shampoo, the foam can and all of that and washed the car. So if your car is not heavily contaminated, um, my preference would be to just clay with the wash water that's on the vehicle. Then you're skipping a lot of time. You're really saving time and skipping steps is what I'm trying to get at. So in that case, we would be done now and just have to dry. So if that's not the route you want to take and you're going to do a traditional wash, or if your car is heavily contaminated, you would, you would do the step after this. So basically I could have just went ahead and clayed with the lube that's left after the wash with the rinseless, dry it off, move to the next step. Now, I could still do the same thing. If you feel, and sometimes it's too grabby is the problem. You need the extra lubricity from the Infinite Use Details Use One um, to help the clay glide across the surface. If not, it can get pretty grabby and that's not what you want. You don't want it to be grabbing on the paint because potentially you're streaking it up and then you'll have to wipe hard to get that out, potentially putting in other scratches. So with that said, you can try it like that. You can move your pail up with your wash water. In this case, it's deionized water. All right. And then you'll take my ultra fine grade Japanese clay bar we sell on detailjuice.com. This stuff I import from Japan. It's pretty amazing. Uh, it's an ultra fine bar. And what that means is it's not going to mar or scratch the paint when you're uh, removing the contaminants, but it's going to remove heavy, heavy, heavy contaminants, which is why I like this bar. It won't scratch, but it removes heavy contamination. So that's where we're at. I've got a used bar I'm going to use for this. So you can either use your wash water, like so. Like I said, it could be a little bit grabby. This is not my preferred method if it's just water. I do like to do it with the residual uh, wash water from a rinseless wash because there's already lube in there. You don't have to waste more product uh, basically lubing it up. If you don't like that and it's too grabby, if you try it after a traditional wash with just water, then you can get your pre-diluted Infinite Use Detail Juice wand. You can soak the panel down and now it's got plenty of lube to go over it. Yeah, glides right across the paint, just like it's supposed to. Now, <clears throat> 
that's for cars that are not heavily contaminated and for vehicles that you do not visit visibly see rust chunks in um, and a lot of times on darker paints like this you won't it'll be a, a white or a silver car you'll see those chunks in and look pay attention you'll see them you'll see exactly what i'm talking about so that's one option that's a more traditional option is to spray a lube on and use your clay bar now if you've got heavy particles that you can see or even feel on the paint or if you've done this and you still can feel it really rough you might want to step it up now i told you we dilute uh, universal cleaner prep one part product to seven parts water and i've done that in this uh pump sprayer so with that said this is going to help to break down the dirt and grime and the ferrous metal particles and help it to lift it out of the um, the crater that it's in but it will also add some lubrication for the clay bar step so with that said you can spray on universal clean and prep just like so you could take that same clay bar and now you're really picking up contaminants that otherwise wouldn't come off the paint um, the universal clean and prep not only acts as a lube uh, but it's also pulling up any and all ferrous metal particles that you might have uh, but beyond that the prep part is it's leaving behind a primer so cool part about this is I've just and you always before you need your clay if you're going to use the universal clean and prep you want to rinse it off and for that I actually have a bucket full of water right here with some lube in it um, so that's where we're at with that um, I usually uh, you can either spray the universal clean and prep off which is totally fine uh, it's already done its job on the surface or you can just leave it there so basically you could just go right in and dry the panel with the drying towel and you're done um, universal clean and prep can be used after the traditional clay bar process that I showed you when you spray the lube on then you use the uh, clay bar and then you would take your drying towel and dry the surface now, and this is only if you haven't used Universal Clean and Prep as the clay bar lubricant uh, to break up more of what's on the surface, like I just mentioned. Um, now, once you've used the lubrication and the clay bar and you're happy with the results uh, and the smoothness, smoothness of the paint, you get it dry, then you would go in You'd uh, dry the surface. After your wash, you dry your surface, or after the clay bar, you dry your surface. Whatever step and whatever situation you're working on, you got to dry the surface first, just like so. So we're we're supposing we have just clay barred the vehicle with the infinite use details. Use one as lube and the clay bar. We've got the contaminants off. We've then dried the panel. Now. If this is what you're doing, you're still gonna use this one to seven mix and you're gonna spray a little bit on the panel, just like so. You then take a clean towel. And you wipe it into the panel like so. Okay windy out here guys hope it's not affecting the video but now I've got a little bit of streaks here that's no problem that is the primer that basically helps the protective product whatever it is you may use from the one system you've got universal coating you've got ultra endurance max coat you can blend the two together and make a really strong two-year two-year coating you've also got the new triple trifecta top coat which is a three-year coating it's incre incredibly glossy and all of that which I'll talk about in a later video um, and you've got super seven so you got four different protective well actually you got five six six different ones I mean you got infinite use detail juice one infinite use detail juice one with uh, triple trifecta which those two the triple trifecta is double the concentrate double the strength it's awesome instead of a one-year coating it's a one and a half year coating 
Um, so you've got both your Vinny Use Detail Juice 1 and the triple trifecta version. You've got universal coating. You've got Ultra Endurance Max Coat. You can blend those two together. You can do uh, Super 7. You could do triple trifecta um, top coat, or you can do Super 7 with triple trifecta top coat on top of that, and then maintain with the Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 with triple trifecta technology. So there's lots of options uh, and different levels of protection you can offer, not only to yourself, but to your customers if you're a pro. Um, and that's kind of where we're at, having options, but not too many. You don't want to confuse the customer because they shut down and you, you won't sell them anything. So anyway, once you wipe down with the Universal Clean and Prep, it has a primer left behind, which will help any protective product, not even just mine, bond to the surface better, which means you're always gonna get increased durability, longevity, it's gonna, whatever you put on there is gonna perform better and last as long as possible if you use Universal Clean and Prep at one to seven just to wipe the panel down. Now at this point, this panel is washed, decontaminated, uh, well, it's washed, clay barred, and decontaminated, uh, where a lot of people have a, or a lot of companies have a dedicated iron remover product that changes colors. Not with that magical trickery or none of that crap. Uh, I have tried all of those fancy iron removers against the Universal Clean and Prep method I just showed you, and this actually works better than any iron remover I've ever used. Now, here's the thing I'm not biased. Well, <laughs> I'm completely biased, it's mine. My name's on the bottle, I get it. But as far as uh, real world testing, I do all this testing. And I'm not gonna sit here and talk about some things that I don't know about. So the bottom line here is, this method works great. There's no need for any more or a dedicated iron uh, cleaner product. And you'll find that Universal Clean and Prep is less costly than any iron remover product on the market. But beyond that, you don't need it. And you can use the Universal Clean and Prep for more things. So you get more value for your money using this versus the other iron remover products that are on the, on the market. So anyway, wash, clay bar, decontamination, and uh, prep. Now the surface is ready for either polishing, which Again, with the one system, we've got the brand new Smart Cut, Smart Finish, which are the, uh, the brand new custom tempered ab abrasive technology uh, polishes. And, and the, the lowdown on the custom tempered abrasives is um, usually companies will use cookie cutter abrasives that are designed for either clear coat, gel coat, single stage, plastic, whatever. We've custom tempered our, our abrasives to work on many different things and the abrasives adapt to whatever situation you're polishing. Um, so they, they like traditional polishes, uh, you can vary your, your speed and your aggressiveness of the pad, the speed of the machine, uh, all of that stuff. There's so many variables, but these custom tempered abrasives get you where you need to be faster using less product than, well, pretty much all the other polishes that I've used. Um, and so here's me telling you, yeah, my stuff's awesome. I could talk to you about it until I'm blue, blue in the face. I can tell you how amazing the one system is compared to everything else. But here's the deal, guys. I use this stuff every day. I am a pro detailer. I'm a full-time detailer. I, if uh, I got a phone call right now to go do a job, I could definitely take that job and I would do it. Uh, so I am a detailer that uses these products in the real world. And I'm trying to let you know that you can use them as well. And there's incredible value involved. People don't take the time to do the simple math. You need to take the total price of the product and you need to divide it by whatever the usage is going to be. And that's going to tell you how much per use uh, you're going to spend on a product. And when you see the sticker price of my one system products, you're thinking, wow, that's expensive. Well, maybe you're not. Maybe you are doing your simple math and you're like, wow, that's cheap because my products are really inexpensive. I'm just not about shipping water. And the reality is I've got to charge too much for my one and two ounce bottles uh, to, to make it worth my while. So you really need to buy eight, 16 or one gallon sizes or even five gallon or, or 55 gallon drums if you're that big of an operation to really see the major benefit to it. I offer those two ounce bottles uh, in the one system, basically for the enthusiast that doesn't 
they're not going to benefit from having all that product sitting on their shelves for forever, basically, because my stuff, you, you're going to buy it and it's so concentrated, it's going to take you a while to use it if you're not a pro detailer. So just keep all that in mind. And uh, so this, this is ready for polishing. And like I was mentioning before, you can either use Smart Cut to remove the bulk of scratches and, and issues with the paint. Then you would use Smart Finish to refine that. Or you could even use Universal All-in-One and just stop there. That is the protection. You don't need to put anything else on it. You'll get a solid six to nine months of protection just from Universal All-in-One um, if you basically just stop there. If you want to do more, you obviously can. So just decide what polishing and what level you're trying to do to your car and then polish with that. Just remember, all of my polishes are water-based and VOC-free. Now, what does that mean to you? VOC, volatile organic compounds, none of them being in the formula, and most of my formulas are that way, uh, or very low VOC. Um, I like eco-friendly stuff. I like things that are easy on me and the environment to use, and I'm not trying to get cancer from anywhere at all. So I definitely don't want to get it from a product. So we definitely try to, to put as little VOC in the products as possible uh, to ensure that they are as eco-friendly as possible. So with that said, VOC free, all of my polishes um, in the infinite lineup and in the one system are VOC free and water-based. Water-based means you'll have less work time where the product will do more in less time, which is exactly what you want. Um, so for example, with Infinite Finish, uh, I'm sorry, not with Infinite Finish, with uh, Smart Finish and with Universal All-in-One, uh, those two products, you could use, all you're gonna use is one ounce on a full car. Full car, one ounce of, of either one of them or less. Uh, usually it's less than that. Uh, as far as the compound goes, uh, uh, Smart Cut, you're gonna use a solid one ounce, more like one and a half to two if you've got heavy correction to do, but one ounce is usually plenty for a car this size, uh, as far as uh, the smart cut goes. So um, you, at this point, will decide what you're gonna do with your polishing step, which will be in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more. My cell phone number is 813-846-4406. If I can help you in your detailing endeavors, please let me know. And uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. So check out the next video for step three. And thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.